Hey guys, Chris with Redstone Solar, and today we are going to be unboxing the brand new Solar Edge Smart EV Charger. Let's take a look, see what we got here. You can clearly see cable in that guy, charger in that guy. All right, so we've got the installation guide, a little wall mount there, some cardboard, and now we've got the actual charger here. Let's take a peek. Let's open it up. Cover comes off. So a couple things to point out. You'll notice that this can accommodate a cellular kit um, so that you could have this standalone. You don't have to have it necessarily connected to anything. These are LEDs. Um, so these will light up on the front cover to have a bunch of uh, indicators. You could run onto it, take this off, pull out the wire and actually hardwire it. We've got some dip switches right back here. Uh, right here, we've got an ethernet port, USB, and then this is the RS-485 connections, which you can take out. This is how you get it to communicate with an energy hub inverter. Well, let's take a look at the other box. We've got a one page little quick connect guide here. I mean, you'll notice that on the other unit, basically this is just a dust cap. This comes out and this is where we physically land. Uh, this is a J1772 plug and it'll just quick like, lock into this right here. Our cable, which is huge. Holy cow, this is super thick. Yeah, they're not messing around. So we've got that same connector. If you note that there are little arrows on this so that line up with the actual inverter. And then this is a J1772. This is in the United States, the most common type of uh, EV charging cable. Um, if you are running a Tesla, you will need an adapter, which we could link to um, in the description. Buy directly from Tesla, it's a great part. For most cars, this will work straight out of the box. All right, so the plug on it is a NEMA 650. All right, so we've got, a, I think this is a Gen 2 uh, wall connector. So they're quite similar in size. On the Tesla wall connector, uh, most people have it hardwired. So this one lands directly in a junction box. You could switch this and do an actual um, outlet. Your major difference is gonna be in some of the specifications. The wall connector can push up to uh, 48 amps, uh, whereas the solar edge uh, maxes out at 40. Both of those are quite quick, you know, charging in general at home. Uh, much better than just plugging into a wall outlet. Look at the difference, the thickness. Uh, yeah. Well, thanks for joining. Hope this was helpful. Check out the links below for a little bit more information. Have a great day.